What's good YouTube, it's Pei, and today I'm back with another video. I'm going to be talking about what I think the biggest problem is with NBA Youngboy's music, and I say this as somebody who's a fan of his music, it's not like I'm a hater or something like that, but just being realistic from a fan's perspective, but also, if you've never been here before, I'm going to explain to you the rules of this channel and how it works. Um, basically, if you watch my content, you have to subscribe, otherwise you're stealing, you know, it's, it's an honor code system, if you watch the content, you gotta subscribe, it helps me out a ton, it doesn't cost you any extra money or any extra effort, does me a great favor, and I'd greatly appreciate it, otherwise though, if you don't follow this rule, I don't know if you know this or not, but you will be going to jail, we, we, we have like about three or four murders that are unsolved that we're gonna be pinning on you, so you know, it's up to you. You know, you can either go to jail for murder, spend about 20 years to life in prison, or you can just subscribe. Pretty simple. Not that hard to do. So make your choice. But yeah, I'm going to be I'm going to be talking about the biggest problem with NBA Youngboy's music. And I think the biggest problem with it is just that there's too much music. Now, I know for a lot of people, they're like, what, what do you mean too much music? I love Youngboy's music. I love that he drops 26 albums a year. But the man has no exaggeration, no exaggeration, 30 plus projects i the official count is like somewhere around 31 i believe i counted it out myself 31 around, around 31 you know, it includes some stuff that's not available on apple music but it's available on soundcloud and i didn't include like instrumentals of an album or anything like that but yeah 31 projects since 2016 that is ridiculous young boy's 23 years old he has 31 projects that is entirely too much music now not all the projects are super long. Not all of them are 20 song albums. Some of them have 10, 13, maybe even seven songs on a couple. But again, that's just so much music that you just, as a fan who's not, a, as a fan of music who's not a fan of Youngboy, you have missed out on so much of his career if you came in, even in like 2020. If you became a fan three years ago and you've been consistently following Youngboy, you've still missed like 16 projects. Like, that is insane. That's an insane amount of music. In 2022, he dropped like eight projects or something like that. Like, just a ridiculous amount of music. And it's so much to the point in which you can't fully get into that artist all the way like you would really want to, right? Let's say I'm a, a rap fan and I want to become a Playboy Cardi fan. What the fuck you want? Just what the fuck I want? They stop the fucking music! They stop the fucking music! Okay, there's a lot of music there, but it's not a, a just ridiculous amount that would take forever. Like, that's just gonna take too long, then I don't wanna do that. Like, no, I have to listen to three projects and a, a whole bunch of leaks, but that's not that much music to get into. And I know Playboy Cardi is like the exact opposite of NBA Youngboy in terms of like how much music they drop, but still, even if you look at Drake, Drake's been around in the mainstream since like 2009. And he doesn't have any, I think he has half the albums NBA Youngboy has. Let me just check just to make sure. I believe Drake has 16 projects. And again, I'm not talking about just like albums. I'm talking about just projects in general, just to listen to. Drake's been in the game since 2009, which is what? Now, how many years ago is that now? 14. And he has two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. 14 and, you know, some mixtapes here and there. So probably like 16. That's not that much music to get into over a 14 year spirit uh, 14 year span. That's not that much to be like, okay, let me catch up on Drake and listen to a couple projects. You have to listen to 14 projects in like that's that, that that's like two years of young boys work. It's ridiculous. And it makes people not want to listen because if you drop a project in June and I'm gonna go listen to it, I'm like, oh, okay, young boy just dropped in June. I'll catch it when I catch it. You know, I'm not a big young boy fan. I'll get around to it. But by the time I'm about to get around to it, and let's say it's August, you've already announced another project. And now I'm like, shit, bro. Well, I might as well just wait for the next one. If I'm not going to listen to that one, you know, I, I just kind of missed on that one. Then December comes around and you're already dropping another one. It's just a never ending cycle of not being caught up with young boys music if you're not a real fan. So I think it kind of, well, not a real fan if you're not a diehard fan. So I think the way he drops his music is just a turnoff to new listeners. It, it really is. And it's part of the reason of why he has a cult fan base because he's always feeding them. He's always feeding them. And it's great for the people that are already big fans of young boy, but if I'm not a fan of his, man, do I really want to sit there and listen to four projects in a year from the same person? Probably not, you know? If I want to get really into Youngboy, if I listen to his last project and I'm like, man, I'm a huge fan. I love Youngboy's music. Let me go back and listen to all his stuff. Do you think I'm going to listen to 30 projects? Probably not. And 
it's not, it's already a problem now, and he's only what is since 2016, seven years into his career. It's already a problem now that he has too much music. Imagine what it's going to look like in five years. How many projects do you think he's going to have by 2028 if he's still making music? A hundred, hundred something? Like, it's just too much music. And at the same time, it is dipping his quality in music. And I know young boy fans don't want to hear that, but it's the truth. It doesn't matter how good you are. Eventually, you're going to dip your quality in music if you drop so much. Like, it's just the truth. It's just how it works. It's just how... Life works when it comes to creating art. When you make so much of it, eventually it starts getting worse if you just keep making a lot of it. And Youngboy even said it himself in an interview that his style of music that he was making consistently in like the previous years is it very easy for him to make. My kind of music I make, it, it became easy to me. Mm-hmm. So I used to sit there and do it all day. And I've gone on record saying that as well. I feel like he could make a whole bunch of generally like acceptable sounding Youngboy songs in a row. Like he could just make... He could probably go to the studio for about four hours and end up cranking out like 40 songs that are just like not the best songs, but they're listenable and his fans would like it. And, you know, it's not going to do anything crazy for him, but it's music that he could put out and would be acceptable. He's very good at making his style of music. And he said that in an interview, and that's why he's been trying to change it up recently. But it's just too much music. He's dropping entirely too much music. And Youngboy is like, he's kind of like, a result of social media, his music career. It's a result of social media because everything is so fast nowadays. We're getting so much information every single day, consistently, just fast, fast. Every single day, 400 stories happen and we read them all, right? Quick as hell. It it doesn't take a lot to be involved in social media and to understand what's going on that day, right? So because of that, things have to happen a lot faster in order to keep us satisfied. So the entire process of being an artist has been sped up. Like back in the day, You could drop a whole bunch of music like Gucci Mane, but nobody was going to hear it all because that's just impossible. The internet wasn't capable of getting music to everyone like that back then. But also back then, you could drop a project and wait two to three years to drop your next one and nobody would really be tripping. You know, they'd be like, dang, when's the next album? When's the next album? But you could ride the wave of one album for several years, several years. You could have an album come out in a year and, you know, maybe you do a whole bunch of press, you do, do a whole bunch of promo, you let the album sit, it plays on the radio for about six to seven months before anyone says anything. Then you do a tour that lasts a couple months and before you know it, it's a year and a half out of your album and nobody's even questioning when the next one's coming yet. And then maybe a couple months after all that's done, they're like, okay, when's the next one? You know, you could kind of play the game. But now everything is so quick. When you drop an album, you're in the press for maybe like a cool two to three weeks, unless your name is Drake, Kanye West, or Kendrick Lamar. Besides those three, pretty much, and yes, I know I'm exaggerating. You're gonna say, oh, what about this guy? What I know, I get it. But besides being one of the top, top guys, when your album comes out, you have like maybe a couple weeks to a couple months of having that spotlight on you. Then they want to see you do something else. Okay, that's cool. You did your album, whatever. It blew up. It was good. We're still listening to it. But now what are you going to do? Are you going to do a tour? Are we touring? What are we doing next? Like it's, it's, it's always what's next nowadays because there's so much information coming in. There's so many people dropping music that even if you are a bigger artist, cool, your album was good. If, if it wasn't a great, a 10 out of 10, if it wasn't a classic, we're already listening to the next seven albums that have came out in the last two weeks. Like, there's so much music coming out. So I think Youngboy has kind of become a product of that, and he's just keeping up with what's happening. It's like, okay, I dropped my last album. It went, or it came, it went. Now I'm dropping another one. Now I'm dropping another one. Now I'm dropping it. Like, it's he's kind of a result of that, um, that social media effect that it's had on us in our society to where he is just producing, 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 because... People can consume so much faster nowadays. We can consume really quickly. So he's producing a lot, like a lot. Like he just dropped a project in January and he's already talking about two other projects. It's March. He's already talking about dropping two other projects and it's only March. The project has been out for two months, two months. And he's already talking about two other ones. Like it's just too much music and it's dropping his quality. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care what his diehard fans say. His quality is dropping. It is. It's not like he's trash. Is He's still putting out good projects, but they're nowhere near what they could be if he really took his time and spent six months to seven months to a year, maybe even working on a project because he's just trying to get out as much as possible. He's dropping so many singles. I, I haven't even talked about the singles. He dropped over 100 songs in total in 2022. Like, It's just a ridiculous amount of music, and I think it's too much. I do. I think it's too much. Even for me as a Youngboy fan, 
I let's let, let me just look through the projects in 2022 and tell you some of the ones I missed because I'm a young boy fan. I'm not like a diehard diehard, but I listen to his projects when they come up and I still missed some. My I got a family. I completely missed that project and it's my job. I, well, not my job, but it's a hobby I do. Then I talk about music and I missed an entire project. My I got a family. 3800 degrees. I missed that one. 3860. I missed it and came back and listened to it. I actually liked it. But like, there's just so much coming out that it's it's too much for anybody that's not a diehard fan of young boy and it turns a lot of people off turns a lot of people off nobody wants to sit there and try to catch up on the last 20 albums and if you catch up on the last 20 albums really you've only you're only caught up to 2018 you don't even know the full young boy story full young boy story starts in 2016 and you're like halfway caught up but you've listened to 20 projects like it's just too much it's entirely too much. It's tiring to anybody that's not a diehard Youngboy fan. I'm not a diehard Youngboy fan. I listen to Youngboy. I love Youngboy. I like a lot of artists just as much as I like Youngboy or more. So it's tiring to be like, okay, Youngboy's in my rotation for this month. Cool. Now I'm listening to Uzi. Now I'm listening to Cardi. Oh, okay. Youngboy's back in my rotation. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now I'm listening to Dirk. Now I'm listening to Drake. Now I'm listening to uh, uh, Travis Scott. Okay, Youngboy's back in the rotation. God damn, he's back in the rotation again. All right, whatever. Okay, okay, cool. So Nikki just dropped. We're going to listen to Nikki. Okay, uh, uh, Glow, Glorilla just dropped. Cool. Money Back Yo just dropped. Cool. Damn, we back at Young. Like, it's just too much. It, it tires you out. It's exhausting. It is exhausting. I'm sorry. And I think that it's going to result in a lot of people just putting the young boy down, just putting it down. Like, hey, I can't keep up. I'll listen to the big songs when they become big songs. I'll maybe check out a project if it's really highly uh, acclaimed. But otherwise, I can't keep up. And man, down the line in the years to come, in 2025, when Youngboy has 66 projects, it's just going to be ridiculous. It's just going to be an insurmountable amount of music. And you know, maybe you guys like that. Maybe you guys like 15 projects a year from your artists. <clears throat> maybe you like having a whole bunch of music from Youngboy fans, because I can tell you as a Cardi fan, it's like, damn, when is the music coming out? But with Youngboy, there's always music coming out. So maybe that's a good thing. Maybe his fan base enjoys it better that way. And I think they kind of do. But I'm just just talking about from an outsider's perspective, from somebody who's not a diehard, you know, every single day young boy fan, from somebody who isn't even a young boy fan, from somebody else who's even further outside the bubble. It's a lot. It's a really, really uh, a difficult task to be all the way caught up with young boy. It's like a full time job, damn near. So I think that's the biggest problem with his music. I don't think it's a quality thing. I don't think it's anything that he's necessarily doing um, music wise or even other th other things in his career. I just think that he's putting out entirely too much music. I think he should take his time, develop his sound even more, put out more quality. And that's not to say that the projects he's been putting out are bad because they're not. That's just not true. His projects aren't bad, but they could definitely be a lot better if they were worked on for a lot longer period and were uh, um, more uh, focused on. If they weren't just, you know, putting out music, just going to the studio, make music, put it out, go to the studio, make like, if he really sat down and said, okay, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do that? Let's take our time. Let's, let's, let's record this song, maybe two or three times. Let's change this. Let's change that. Let's do like, if he really put in more time to each individual project and spread them out, I think they would be a lot better. I think almost every single one of his project would be like an eight or, or eight or above. But I think because of how much he's putting out, it's diluting it. It is. It's diluting the well. It's making every project not as good, but still pretty good, listenable, but nothing crazy. And I think that Youngboy is a talented enough artist to where almost every project he puts out could be a great project. So I think he needs to slow down a bit with the hundreds and thousands of releases, take his time a little bit more. And I think he could have one of the best discographies ever because he's going to drop a lot of music regardless. A guy like Youngboy is never going to be an artist that's just dropping one album a year. Like, that's just not the guy he is. So if we can get two to three really good albums every year, I can take that. But if we get one really good album every year and then three to four decent albums in one album where it's just like you don't even really need to listen to it, like that's, that's, I mean, that's cool, but I much prefer three really good albums or something like that or three really good projects, I should say. So... My biggest problem with Youngboy, again, entirely too much music. It turns off new fans. It's going to be hard down the line, down the years, to go back and listen to all his music because he's going to have 100 trillion albums by the time he turns 30. But maybe that's maybe that's a good thing. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm an idiot. Maybe you guys like the seven projects a year. Maybe that's great for his brand. And it, it, it kind of is. You know, it's part of his brand to drop. It's part of his brand to drop a whole bunch of music, and that makes him kind of unique. But 
Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe this video is dumb. Maybe I'm an idiot. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me, am I wrong? Am I right? Tell me whether you like this video or not. Tell me if you agree, disagree. I greatly appreciate it regardless if you made it this far in the video. Thank you so much. Like truly, truly thank you. But remember the rule. If you watch my content, you got to subscribe again. Otherwise, you're going to jail for these three murders. We got these unsolved murders. We're going to pin them on you. So make your choice, jail or subscribe. But if you made it this far, thank you so much. Have a great day. Peace.